everyone. Today is day 16 of Vlogmas and I'm coming to you at the end of the school day. Just as I had expected, today was another difficult day. Yesterday, the staff went through it. Today, the entire student body went through it. I feel a little strong enough to talk a little bit about exactly what happened so you understand. One of our very dear staff members, very dear friend, not just to the staff, but to the entire student body, passed away yesterday during the school day. I found out in the middle of the school day and I was devastated as you can imagine. This is someone that I not only worked with, but I first knew him as a parent here in my classroom because I taught his daughter in fourth grade many years ago and then ultimately became part of our school staff. He was a great friend and confident and my heart goes out to his family, his wife, his daughter. It's been very, very hard. This morning, the students and I talked about it. The principal had sent a message about it to all the families last night. This morning, we held a moment of silence for him to remember him. We had the crisis team here in school to help support the staff and the students throughout the day. They're gonna be here tomorrow as well. And I allowed my students time to grieve and talk about it. And then the rest of the day, I tried my best to incorporate different activities to help them get through the day. I did have things planned on my agenda and some of the things I did get to complete, but the others, in all honesty, I knew that I wasn't gonna get to it. It wasn't gonna be a regular school day. And tomorrow, I also expect it to not be a regular school day. We are in the grieving process, and those of you out there that know about grief, grief comes in waves. It hits you, and then you feel better for a bit, and then the wave comes and hits you again, and so it goes. So we're just gonna do our best to be with each other. We're gonna get through this together. I reminded my students how much I love them, how much they mean to me. I spent time hugging on my dear staff members and telling them how much I love them and how much they meant to me. And that's why yesterday's video I ended by saying, please go ahead and hug your loved ones a little bit closer. You just never know. You never know when it'll be the last time that you see them or talk to them or lend them your smile or give them a hug. You never know. I'm very grateful to one of my families who sent in this beautiful orchid. She sent a card as well, the entire family did, for me and for the staff. So I'm actually going to take this to the office on my way out as a way of them paying their respects and sharing their deepest sympathies for our loss. Because like I said, I personally didn't just lose a co-worker, I lost a friend. Someone who was there for me, someone who would make me laugh, would listen to me, offer advice. He was like family. This morning, I, like I said, it wasn't the typical day, but we watched Mr. Popper's Penguins. I feel the students really enjoyed that. After the movie ended, one of the counselors came into the room and noticed that the students were pretty good so she didn't want to reopen up the conversation and get them to be feeling sad again so she asked me if i needed time so i told her yeah i would appreciate at least being able to walk and use the restroom and i went outside and i was out in the sun for a bit i saw my principal and she said that i should probably go to the media center and speak to one of the crisis members so i took some time to do that and I came back to my room. They were doing a guided drawing. They love to draw. I have many talented artists in this class and I encourage all of their creative skills. And then we had lunch and after lunch they had recess and then they went to art. And after art, I ended up doing our house sorting ceremony. And I know I'm very late in doing it, but they've been asking about it and i told them we would do it before winter break and today seemed like a good day to do it so 
have a little clip of that, so I'll show you right now. The boys and girls have been waiting for this day since the start of the school year. I never got to it. My bad. I'm going to blame the fact that I was completely virtual last year, and now we're back in person. So it's been, you know, a little bit later than usual, but better late than ever, right? Yay! I don't know if you see behind me, but I'll show you. We're about to do our house sorting ceremony, hence me putting on this robe in a very hot classroom. But we're going to go ahead and do it because they've been asking me to do this. So I'm going to do it right before winter break because, you know, that's how we roll sometimes. All right, so we're gonna get started with our house sorting ceremony. Are you ready? Yeah! I say they're more than ready, so let's get started. So everyone was excited to be sorted into their houses. I wrote all their names on the board under each of their houses. I awarded all of the houses five points. And in Class Dojo, I went ahead and I changed all the little Class Dojo monsters to the crest of the house that they now belong in. And they're actually very excited for that. So I'm looking forward to when we come back from winter break to encourage them to continue to participate in their houses and maybe do some house themed activities here and there. And after that, we did the gift of reading. So I chose a student who unwrapped the book for today and she also got her squishy for today, which ended up being a white unicorn that looked really neat. And then I unboxed the magnet for today and I put it on the board along with the other magnets. And I finished reading A World of Cookies for Santa, which was our gift of reading from yesterday that we hadn't finished reading, so we read that. And then today's book, I ended up reading it, which was The Magic of Friendship Snow, which is a really beautiful story. I did think about sharing another story with the students, but I didn't think it was a appropriate to do so today. I just didn't know how well it will go with the class, but I do have it on standby in case it's a book that I can read at some point. But the book is titled The Rough Patch by Brian Lies, and it's a New York Times bestselling author, and the book won a Caldecott honor. Basically, is about this fox that has a best friend, and his friend dies and it goes through his emotions and what he experiences showing that cycle of grief and it has a nice quote on the back it says a good place won't stay empty for long something must grow so I thought that was beautiful and again it, it was a tough day today but I'm glad that I was able to be there for my students and I'm gonna do it tomorrow. It was hard to get up this morning and come to work, I do have to say. And I kept thinking of the beautiful memories that I had with my friend, and I'll always cherish those. And I kept thinking of the quote, and I know this quote is from the show WandaVision, but it's very appropriate. What is grief but love persevering? And knowing how many people loved my coworker it's very touching to see that. And it just shows the love that went around and how he was all about kindness and being good to each other. So I hope that the students are able to take that message with them and remember that part of their relationship with him. I do wanna share the link if any of you wanna offer any help to the family. I'll leave the link in the description box below. This video is not monetized and I did it on purpose. So if you wanna help in any way, you'll find the link in the description box below. My heart, my love, my deepest sympathies go out to his family and his loved ones. You are all in my hearts and you're all in my prayers. And I wanna thank you for watching this video and I wish you all a beautiful, magical day. And don't forget to smile.